welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting infinite sum question okay before solve the question i would like to say today i got 5000 subscribers so thank you everyone for watching my videos and subscribe my channel okay let's move to the question uh, sum of n is equal 0 to infinity n times minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial well uh, i'm going to begin with uh, the terra series of sin of x we know sin of x is equal to uh, x minus x cube over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth power over 5 factorial minus x to the seventh power over 7 factorial plus so on okay also we can represent this series uh, by using sigma notation so we can write uh, sin of x is equal to n is equal 0 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the n power times x to the 2n plus 1 power over 2n plus 1 factorial okay then um, here we can write sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n uh, times here x to the 2n plus 1 so I am going to write x to the 2n times x and here we have 2n plus 1 factorial okay then um, here we have n but here we have 2 times n so now uh, I am going to take when x is equal to square root of x when x is equal to square root of x we can write uh, sine of square root of x is equal to here infinite sum 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times now uh, square root of x we know x to the 1 half power so x to the 1 half raised to the 2n power over 2n plus 1 factorial times the square root of x now we can write uh, sine of square root of x is equal to here square root of x so square root of x times uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times now we know this 2 get cancelled so we have x to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial okay then uh, I am going to differentiate with respect to x so we know derivative of sine function cosine so we have cosine of square root of x times now according to chain rule we know derivative of square root of x 1 over uh, 2 times square root of x is equal to now here uh, right hand right hand side we have product of two functions so we should apply product rule so first i am going to rewrite uh, first function square root of x then derivative of this function uh, we have 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n uh, now general power rule so n times x to the n minus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial plus now derivative of square root of x we know 1 over 2 times square root of x times now rewrite second function so 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times x to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial okay then uh, I am going to plug in um, 1 for x so we can write now here cosine of 1 cosine of 1 over here 2 is equal to here 1 so uh, sum of 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n over uh, 2n plus 1 factorial here also we have n if we plug in 1, 1 to the n minus 1, 1 uh, plus here 1 over uh, again 2 infinite sum 0 to infinity 
minus 1 to the n here x1 so here 2 n plus 1 factorial okay then um, here we have the Taylor series of sine of x so if we plug in 1 here sine of 1 is equal to infinite sum minus 1 to the n over 2 n plus 1 factorial so we know this infinite series is equal to sine of 1 so here sine of 1 so we can write now uh, we can isolate the our infinite series 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n times n over 2 n plus 1 factorial is equal to here cosine of 1 over 2 here sine of 1 over 2 so cosine of 1 minus sine of 1 over 2 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching